a perfect cup of coffee every time. That's the goal of specialty coffee maker Artly. But they brew their coffee differently compared to other brands like Blue Bottle and Stumptown. Artly uses robotics, artificial intelligence, and algorithms to make their specialty coffee. Since the coronavirus pandemic, their business has gotten a major boost. The pandemic um, is a perfect storm for the uh, food, food and beverage industry. And even before the pandemic, there, there were uh, a shortage in labor, and the COVID-19 really uh, worsened the situation. And that gave us a lot of opportunities. A lot of coffee shops are withdrawing from their existing locations. For example, Starbucks are withdrawing from shopping malls. By doing so, they created a lot of uh, um, opportunity for, for us. Consistency and a human touch are both needed in the specialty coffee making. Meet Zhou Yang, an award-winning barista. The robots they create are based on his moves of making coffee. By capturing his movements and building up a database, the robot is able to learn how to mimic the way he's making coffee. Consumers come to a coffee shop expecting a consistent taste, but often because the coffee shop has a very high turnover of baristas, the consistency can't be guaranteed. What we do is to let the robot imitate all my coffee-making actions to make a good cup of coffee. There are some concerns that robots will steal jobs from humans in the process of automation. But since the start of the coronavirus pandemic, the issue of robots making coffee hasn't been questioned as much, thanks to the rising demand for the no-contact business model. And even when the pandemic dividends wear off, Wang Meng believes they are creating and transforming barista jobs instead of killing them. I think we are uh, reducing the amount of labor uh, in coffee shops, but at the same time, we are creating other jobs. We, we create uh, jobs for mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, computer vision research scientists. We're transforming barista jobs as well. Before the existence of our solution, one barista can only serve a handful of people in a small neighborhood. But with our solution, um, we can let that barista to serve millions of people around the world. Starting at the very heart of specialized coffee in Portland, Oregon, the company now has opened three more locations in the California Bay Area. And recently, their first Seattle shop opened near the Pike Place Market, where the first Starbucks store opened its door in 1971. And more importantly, Artly has recently secured an $8 million investment round. The fresh funding allows its artisan coffee to reach more customers with a full range of products.